Okay, this is just a short demonstration of sulfos brazing. I'm using 15% sulfos with an oxyacetylene flame set to a neutral flame. So uh, I'm just going to demonstrate how it's done. Okay, I'm starting out. I'm heating the fitting. Uh, a little more than the pipe. You can do this either way. I like to do it this way. Uh, this pipe is going to get uh, pretty much red hot. And don't put your uh, braze material in until it is pretty close to being red hot. You just kind of have to watch it. Uh, maybe move the flame around depending on the size of the fitting. Now here the, the braze material is going in. And Notice it follows the heat. That stuff will go wherever it's hot. It's kind of muddy. It's not real liquid unless it's very hot. And uh, so in order for this to work, you have to get the fitting hot enough for it to work. And you want a big torch. Uh, that's a number two Victor. And uh, so that you can get in there and get it hot and then get the brazing done and get out. Okay, here's another fitting a little closer up. Uh, try not to let the flame melt the uh, brazing material. Uh, let it melt because the uh, the metal's hot. By the way, this is only good on copper. Uh, real hard to make it work in anything else. You can if you're really good at it. And you can see there it's falling. Now, you actually kind of push this stuff around with the brazing rod itself. And on the bottom, you want to make sure when you're done, you get a little extra on the bottom and you should have a little drip like that. Uh, if you've got that little drip and you played your flame around uh, the back and the bottom, you will probably get a good joint. This stuff is real good at filling up uh, loose uh, fittings, but it's not perfect. And that's the uh, brace.